I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an HP Pavilion X360 laptop here. The exact model for this one is an Pavilion X360 13-S101 model. The two letters after the 101 indicate the country code that means CA for Canada, LA for Latin America and so on and so forth. But this one is for 13-S101. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to open it up and how you can do your own repakes, cleaning up, and to boost up the performance for the CPU. As we know that these are Intel CPU, if they overheat, they overthrottle, the speed goes down a little bit. So in order to prevent that, we're going to do a repaste and clean up the fan and put everything back together. I'm going to take you on a step-by-step -step tour how to do this process. And I'm going to show you guys the tools that we're going to be using. This process applies for any S-series laptop, so it doesn't have to be S-101, it can be S-200, S-102, doesn't matter. All right, first thing first, you're gonna turn off the laptop completely. You're gonna flip it upside down, and we're gonna get through a few tools that we're gonna be using. For the screwdriver set, we're gonna be using iFixit tool set, and these are, these are really good bits. These are S-2 class steel bits. You're going to be using a Phillips number one. You can get the pro set of this one, which they include the opening tools and tweezers. But if you don't, you can get the tweezers, or sharp tweezers, a curved one or a straight one. And you will need an opening tool. For the opening tool, again, if you want to buy it, don't want to get the pro set, get the guitar pick. A metallic guitar pick is really suitable to do any cover openings. I'll leave the links in my video description if you guys are interested. And we will need an isopropolic alcohol or ISO or isopropolic alcohol, whatever you want to call it. The link again is in my video description. You will need a workshop towel. These workshop towels are great for this press servicing. So we're going to be using one sheet of the workshop towel. And the most important one is your thermal paste. You can use whichever thermal paste you like, you desire. I recommend you guys to get the Arctic MX4. Or if you want to go really crazy overkill, go with the Thermal Greasy Cryonaut. And again, you can also a good thermal paste the Arctic Silver 5. But I prefer Arctic MX4 for this type of processor. Right. Now let's get to the opening. Once you flip over the laptop, you're going to see a whole bunch of screws underneath. And there are a few hidden screws. And the three hidden screws are under this tiny uh, cover here. You lift it up with a sharp tweezer or knife. Has a little adhesive to it. This one over there and here. And there's one more over here, but this one is already fall off. So I guess the client lost it. Nothing happens if you lose them. And the other two hidden ones are under the uh, rubber legs in every corner by the hinge. This one over here and the one right underneath. Again, this one is being lost, so I guess they fall off. You just stick it right under this rubber and lift it up. And the other last two hidden screws are under this one and over here. You just want to puncture and lift it up. Puncture, bring it up. All right, with all those removed, now we exposed all the screws. All the screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. And we're going to proceed with removing all the screws. Also, I realize there's only one person of my viewers that subscribe to my channel. If you guys find my content helpful and helping you guys out to do your own service or upgrades, you can just support the channel by clicking the like button or subscribing to the channel or do both. I really greatly appreciate it and really helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests and answer your questions. Alright, once we remove all the screws at the bottom, there is no hidden screws under these two front rubbers. We're going to open up the laptop. We're going to stick the opening tool between the top and the bottom cover about three to four millimeters inward, and we're gonna twist it towards the outside. 
This one is broken corner because the client dropped it, so don't worry. Go ahead and do it every few centimeters, just twist, twist, do the sides, go all the way to the corner, do the other side. Once you did the front side and the corners, grab it from the front and just wiggle it around a little bit and it should get loose from the back. Now don't yank on it because there's a few flex cable underneath. Open it up 45 degree and then you're gonna find yourself uh, two big ribbon flex cables. One for the trackpad, one for the keyboard. For the trackpad, you wanna put your finger right at the back cover right here and lift up 90 degrees and then slide out the flex cable. For the keyboard, same thing on the other side. Lift it up 90 degrees and slide back the flex cable. And this is your palm rest. And in the corner here, there's a mesh, dust mesh right here. Grab a old toothbrush and go ahead and clean up through because it sucks air through the, under the keys here. And yes, you will need an old toothbrush if you have one lying around. It's really handy to clean up the fan system. All right, down here, we're gonna see the whole motherboard right there. The battery, the hard drive, and the fan right over here. You're going to remove the whole motherboard because the piping goes underneath. First, we're going to disconnect the battery. You can pull on the cables, but it's not recommended. I'll suggest put your fingernails right at the edge of this hook and then pull it back. That's the proper way. For the hard drive, lift up the lock 90 degrees. Pull out the jack. For this um, I.O. side flex cable, remove it from here, 90 degrees, remove it from the other side. Remove the flex cable for on off switch, lift up and pull out. The screen, again, lift it up from the, from the back, 90 degrees, it's like the same thing as the keyboard. And remove the flex cable. Lift up the antenna cable for the Wi-Fi. Just lift it up, untrack it, move it away. The track, the touch screen, lift up this tape and it slides back towards the hinge, the connector. Again, for the power jack, same thing as a battery. Just pull it back. For the speaker, I don't think we can do it right here, or if you can, just manage it somehow, remove it, okay? We're not gonna disconnect the CMOS battery, just rip it off from the board, it has an adhesive put underneath, and lift it up, so you remove the double-sided tape on the bottom. Then we're gonna start removing the motherboard. We're gonna start from this side, removing this screw right here. Remove the shield on top, remove the screw right over beside it. The tiny screw at the corner. And remove the screw right here. The screw for the Wi Fi board. Three screws for the fan, one on here by the tubing. This one over here. This one and this one. Once you remove all those screws, now we can go ahead and lift up the motherboard from here, from this corner, lift it up slowly, gently, wiggle it around always, and pull it out. And there you have it. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna close it down, you're gonna put it on top this way. You're gonna remove the fan cable jack, just pull it back. Or if you don't wanna pull the cable, just pull the jack with your fingers. Just like that. Only goes in one way. The heat pipe is right over here, so we're gonna remove four screws on the heat sink. They have a seal lock on them, so you don't you can't completely remove them, you just have to twist. And go ahead and lift up the heatsink. 
and there you go to your old thermo paste and if you want to remove the fan we have to remove these three screws so we're going to remove the three before we do that let's go ahead and clean up the heat sink so grab the towel cut a little bit from here dip it in the alcohol and go ahead and remove the thermal paste over here okay uh, remove the thermal paste on the cpu there we go now we can put the motherboard to one side grab here and we're gonna use a phillips triple zero to remove the three screws on the fan now we can just flip over the fan and we can see how dirty it is down here it's not that that dirty but yours might be different so grab a toothbrush and go ahead and clean up the whole fan system we're gonna lubricate the fan too by lifting up evenly upward and you're gonna see the whole fan you can take it outside you can wash this part and let it dry and this part and clean it up with a toothbrush nicely i'm gonna clean it up and i'll be back all right now that I clean it up, you're gonna grab an oil, three in, three in one oil uh, lubricant, and I'm, we're gonna drop a one tiny drop in the middle inside the hole right there. One, not more than one. And you can suck it back if it's extra. You don't wanna overdo, just a little bit. One tiny, half a drop probably. And then you wanna grab the fan and just put it on top and let it just sit down straight now it's nicely lubricated and it's going to be noiseless and close it down put the three tiny screws people usually don't clean their fans this way it's really important that you clean and lubricate your fans this way and you're going to get the best performance all right, now we're gonna grab the motherboard. We're gonna grab our thermal paste, put a tiny drop in the main die, and uh, a tiny line on the second one, and there we go. Now we're gonna bring it over. And once we put it down, we don't wanna move it around. We don't wanna lift it up again. And we're gonna cross stitch them, so do one in the one corner and do the one in the opposite corner and then the other one doesn't matter how you go so you always have to cross and screw this all right now that's we done with that now we clean the repaste we're gonna put everything back together all right Plug in the fan cable first. Just grab it and just stick it right there. Uh, first, remove all these cables upward. Bring it over. Now, remove all this cable upward. Assign right, assign it right there. And remove this flex cable underneath upward. There. Go ahead and once for all, just put the speaker for the jack right there. It's easier when you're on the air now you just want to set it down towards the base grab the battery stick it right under the fan cable you don't need to put the adhesive on it grab the flex cable for the lcd open up the lock bring it down in 45 degree angle all the way towards the jack and then lock it down run the cable make sure it's nicely snuggled right there the cable for the wi-fi this one has to be pushed straight on the jack so align it on top and you just snap it in place grab the on off switch flex cable in 45 degree angle goes in sits toward the motherboard and lock it down power jack we're gonna grab the jack here straight evenly goes inside the flex cable connector for the uh, touch touch screen 
you want to push this one straight toward the jack from the back from underneath has to go evenly there it is so pretty much you have to bring it from the back inward is the same thing as this one has to go straight in and pull it and leave it there put the connector for the hard drive again same thing in 45 degree angle goes in open up the lock and all the way through and close it down bring the bridge cable flex the one that says mb for motherboard in 45 degree all the way towards the jack lock it down the io side again it's 45 degree lock it down this one you don't need to it's garbage the tape right over here we're going to grab this plate set it right by the screw hole and push it to the clips and put the let's stop putting the screw put this screw for the plate right over here and the one beside it The tiny, tiny black screw goes in the corner. The other medium black screw is for the Wi-Fi. And this big one's three for the fan. And this last screw goes right between the keyboard and this other flex right there. So keep it in place. And the last thing down here would be to grab the connector for the battery is straight all the way inward now we are done on the motherboard side we're going to grab the palm rest we're going to put the hinge side down here first and we're going to bring it in 45 degree angle we're going to open up this lock 90 degrees the other one too grab it from the back side it's like a, you landing on a plane in 45 degrees goes inward the jack and towards the motherboard sit it down and lock it in place with the other finger same thing open it up all the way through and lock it in place bring it over and now you're going to snap the pinch the top and the bottom cover all around go all around make sure there's no opening just push it nicely the back corners too, hear all those clicks, that's what you want to hear. And the last thing would be to just grab the bottom screws, put the bottom screws on the bottom cover, and you should be all set. Sometimes when you turn on, it might take 5 to 10 seconds to configure the RAM if you disconnected the CMOS battery. So don't worry, don't panic. So let's go turn it on. I haven't put the screws yet. So there's an HP logo and has an ssd hard drive so it should go in pretty fast to the desktop there we go and we are set we are inside the desktop so i am going to shut it down and put the bottom screws i hope you guys like this video and it helped you guys out to do your own servicing for your la hp laptop if you have any question or request leave them in the video comment and i will really appreciate it if you guys click that like button and subscribe to the channel Again, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video.